MF Athletic, everything track and field, now features a monthly series presented by different famous coaches explaining valuable coaching tips in a concise three to five minutes. Your comments are welcome. Please call 800-556-7464 or email us at mfathletic at mfathletic.com. Hi, I'm Bill Falk from MF Athletic Company, and this is a new series. We're doing track and field tips every month in a concise manner, three to five minutes. It's my pleasure to introduce the first topic, and that's how to utilize the body core to change horizontal movement to upward drive. And the last two steps are vital. On the next to last step, you set the body core up so it can perform for you. I'm going to use Jimmy as an example of what you do on the penultimate, which is the next to last step, and what you do on the last step. The last two steps are vital to position the body core properly so it can convert horizontal movement to vertical liftoff. The next to last step of an approach run is called the penultimate step. What you do on that one is you keep your body erect and you land on a bent knee. You can't wait till the foot hits to bend the knee. You must land on a bent knee and you must keep your body erect and hold the body back. You wait with that body. You keep the body back until the last step is taken. Once the last step is landed, then you drive up on top of that last step and go vertical. This applies to the long jump, the pole vault, the high jump. Not so much to the triple jump because you're not looking for height. You're looking for momentum. So you, don't, you maybe do a little bit of the gather in the triple jump. But for the others, the long jump, the pole vault, the high jump resemble each other. So what we're going to do is use James to show us the correct positions. The first position that James is going to show us is one that happens in the long jump, the pole vault, and the high jump. The penultimate step, the next to last step, he comes in landing on a bent knee, keeping his weight back. The shoulders, the hips must stay back. In fact, they stay back as he takes the last step. It isn't until that last step hits the ground that then he drives up on top, so he's changing horizontal to vertical motion. Also important, it can be used and should be used in the shot put and the discus. Here's James showing us what happens in the shot put. The shot putter has taken his initial drive, or circle, whichever style he's using, landing on a bent back leg with the weight sort of back. He waits until that last left step hits the ground, then he drives up and over on top. The shot put and the discus are about the same delivery as far as using the body core. In fact, there is no other way to generate power if you can't use that core properly, and it must be in the right position. So don't let the core move forward too quickly or you lose that power.